the past PLL. You mentioned that this will not concern us. If we are just playing the game normally, and we have been playing the game normally, but somehow I see- Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Third party tool terms. Those that are against the rules and regulations being listed as required in Lodestone or even mentioned in the forums. Oh, fuck. And I personally dislike talking about third party tools. So I had to mention to these players about how using third party tools during recruitment and whatnot are against the rules. And this really upsets me sometimes. So if you have plans on trying to provide warning to those who continue using third party tools or any plans that deal with those who use third party tools, I would like to know. Everyone who talks about third party tools should be banned. You cannot talk about them in a recruitment post. You cannot talk about them on the forums. You cannot talk about them in your lodestone. You cannot talk about them in the game. You cannot mention the third party too. <laughs> cannot. That's why I use the abacus. You know, I use a candle uh, instead of a Glade plugin. Because I'll never be caught dead using a plugin on Final Fantasy 14. Okay. We have no plans in trying to delve into this issue. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Any further? <laughs> what? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He really said, I'm tired of talking about it. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm aware of how impactful my words are when it comes to this issue. Oh no. Oh no. He's like, why the, why the fuck should I tell people to stop talking about third party tools? They clearly don't give a shit what I say. You guys clearly don't listen to me anyway, so why would I waste my time? <laughs> That's what he just said. So if I'm to keep providing further explanation on this issue. Like, for example, like this is incredibly self-aware response from Yoshimi. <laughs> Say using such and such in particular is against the TOS. It will cause a terrifying amount of mass reports. Oh my god. <laughs> he even brought up the mass reports and the brigading. And the witch hunting that went on. He's calling people out for that shit. I can't believe this. This is probably one of the most base responses he's ever had to this. He's like, if I come out and tell you not to use the third party tools, what are you guys going to do? Brigade and hunt down everybody that you see that's using any kind of third party tool. And you're going to report, 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 report. So make yourselves feel like you're doing something important. You're a righteous crusader against the problem. He really did it. And that's what will turn into an issue of what's the point of even playing the game. So yeah, if you are to ask me if I would go my way to crack down third party sites that upload everyone's data, you should know what site this is. And I am well aware of how much nuisance that site has caused. Having to see the numbers we don't want to see that are normally not displayed in the game and then get told about it. Those numbers are displayed in the game. I just, you know, I know what they are already. I'm never surprised because I just calculate them on the fly in my head. So I'm not, you shouldn't be surprised. You just need to get better at math. As mentioned before, if we are told that this concerns personal issues, it's not something we could. By the way, if that's you uh, and you don't want this information public, 
you can go to FF Logs and you can set your profile to private. So any um, any logs that people post, if they happen to be in a group with you, can be unlisted. So other people will not be able to see them. So if this is something that concerns you, it's probably something that you should take care of on FF Logs, even if you're not comfortable using it. It's just a PSA for you. As mentioned before, if we are told that this concerns personal issues, it's not something we could. This is something we have to keep fighting with, and this could end up really unhealthy, I believe. Of course, if we could quash them for causing troubles, we would have done it already. But still, I mean, this is related to the conversation we had earlier, but defining all things in a black and white manner is something I find stiff. True. True. Because, I mean, he can see the value that it, the, some of this information gives to people in a high-end rating scenario. Um, you know, he plays the game as well. And he knows how useful this tool is to many people. And um, this one particular tool that he's referring to here. <clears throat> so, saying that this is pure evil to use, and uh, like setting it all as black and white, he sees that that's not really a, the wisest stance either. Of course, this depends on personality as well. My real intention here is to create things that are fun. And this is what I've been doing up till now. And to try to avoid doing things that cause people to feel discomfort. Still, this is getting out of topic. Yeah, he's in a really shit position. Like, imagine being Yoshi P and trying to solve this problem, right? What, are you, what would you do? Besides what he's already doing. I think that he's really done the best that he could. I think that his the stance that he's taken is the best stance to take. The one where you don't put something like epic, easy, anti-cheat on people's computer. You don't try to track everything that people are doing. You, you know, you punish people that are a dick about it. Punish people that take the information and are rude and harass other people with it. And just, you know, tell people have it be understood that it's a gray area and don't talk about it just keep it on the, like the way that he's always handled it for this game just keep it to yourself if the information is helpful to you that's great uh but the official stances don't use it you know like there's there is nuance to the stance that they have had but um it's become a lot bigger conversation in the past year or so when this got way beyond just showing DPS meter on screen, right? We've seen people blatantly cheating and using actual cheating tools on streams and uh, people just like not caring at all what they're showing, people releasing data mines in an incredibly public way. <clears throat> like people really abusing the um this understanding that we had had for years and uh, the mod community doesn't like it because mod, mod community would prefer um it to be sort of a don't say anything don't talk about it just use it privately don't show it you know don't broadcast it to the whole world keep it to yourself like that's the way that's the that has been the understanding that's been working the best for everybody uh, but people really pushing their luck and feeling like, oh, just go ahead and report me. They're not going to report me, you know. Um, it's caused the situation to become much bigger pain in the ass. This is getting out of topic, and I believe I've been saying more than what I should have in this matter. <laughs> Be it as a member of this company, as a board director, as a gamer, in personal capacity, and as someone who obtained full trust from the company. I've likely touched on this topic more than I should have. Here's the other thing that he's thinking about. He knows, as he said before. If he makes a big statement and says, don't use it, I'm begging you not to use it. He do, he's done it a million times already. What happens? Mass reports, mass reporting and the brigading happens or you're gonna get a ton of eyes on the situation. Like I think that um, whenever lots of people were talking about third party tools, this happened maybe a few months ago. It was like really hot news. Um, I think it was during the ultimate race around then. There were so many people uh, talking about how you shouldn't use it, and they're like, there was the statements coming out from Yoshi P about how you shouldn't use it, 
It's got a shitload of people to go and download that stuff, you know? Like, they're, all that publicity on it massively increased the popularity of these tools. Um, and uh, I have a, you know, said my opinion on that many times. I think that there's a big difference between a tool that gives you a QOL improvement and a tool that is cheating. I think that's a very clear line between those two things. And uh, the people that act like there isn't a line between those two things are usually being intellectually dishonest and just trying to get a free pass to use cheating tools and not have anybody tell them that they shouldn't be cheating, right? Anyways, I don't wanna go on a whole tangent about that. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to stop, step into this issue anymore. And I think we had enough debates about that. this. Yeah, so he feels like he can't say anything about it because it's not working. And in fact, it's backfiring every time he talks about it. The only other alternative that he has is to add like, like something like anti-cheat, which they don't want to add and they will never add. So he feels sort of powerless and he doesn't even want to talk about it. I don't want this game to end up like a game that mainly cracks down on things. And I don't want to create a game like this either. Like, I don't, I honestly do not know um, another way that he could go about this. Like, he doesn't want to crack down on people and uh, enforce, like, the rules draconically. If we have to remove everything, then might as well not work on the game, and it'll be a game where everything becomes a mess. So even if I get pressed on this issue, it's gonna be nothing but trouble. I think he's right. I think he's right. He's doing, he's doing his best to do the balancing act of like, if I crack down super hard, then there's gonna be all this backfiring and people are gonna be pissed because like unilaterally banning all add-ons is not the solution. A lot of people are gonna be negatively impacted by that that don't deserve it. Like there's gonna be tons of people that use QOL mods for accessibility purposes, for example, that would be not even able to play the game anymore. If they just said, oh, well, we're gonna ban everybody that we notice is using, they're not, they don't wanna do that. That's not smart. That's not the wise decision. Even though it might be the legally correct one, sometimes the legally correct decision is not the wise decision that's best for the long-term health of the game and the long-term fun of the game. Um, and I appreciate that he has this self-awareness to realize that going on and on and on about mods is not helping. It's only making more and more people download mods and spreading more and more information about mods. And uh, it's just getting way out of hand. So I think that this is the right thing for him to do. Just like, don't, don't, uh, don't go overboard with it. Focus on just keeping, adding content to the game, keeping the game fun and doing what they always did, which was ban people that are using it to harass. And hopefully they will work on banning people that are obviously cheating using obvious cheating tools in a public way. I think that is stuff that they can do now and that will, um, I, I don't know a better solution for, from here for that.